so it's that time of year again, it's getting colder. The man down the pub will tell you that if you put the wipers on and the radio and the heated seats and all the other auxiliary equipment in an electric vehicle, you will come to a grinding halt because it will use up too much energy and you will not be able to get home. This video is out to prove that that is not the case. So what energy is consumed when you use the wipers, the heated seats and the heater? Stay tuned to find out. We're going to do that test in this Kia e Nero with a heat pump, but also my ENV200 with a PTC heater, which is sort of the older technology when it comes to heating an electric vehicle. And let's just compare the two vehicles and what they consume to run those auxiliary items. So let's have a look at my 24 kilowatt hour ENV combi van. Go into the menu and then you press this blue button here, go to energy information and then we get this screen <clears throat> basically tells you at 100% charged the car is guesstimating 77 miles and if you turn on the climate control you will lose nine miles range. Now I haven't got the heat on at the moment but these are the two interesting sections of this screen. The top is climate control, the heater, and the bottom is other. Now if I turn the heater on now, 24 degrees on auto, it says if you turn off the heater control, climate control, I'll add nine miles. So over the next 30 seconds or so, you will see this graph here will steadily climb as the PTC heater, the positive temperature coefficient heater, heats up, takes energy from the battery and tries to warm the car up to a temperature of 24 degrees C. So we're approaching three kilowatt draw. So it's pretty hungry on the energy front with a PTC heater. Hence the reason why we're going to lose those miles. Now, a lot of people will say, well, if I'm really struggling, I need to turn off the radio, the wipers and the heated seats. Let me show you why that makes no difference at all. This other section called other is registering everything else other than the heater. So we've got wipers, heated seats, heated steering wheel, radio, wipers etc and the whole computer system in the background this is how much it's drawing so as you can see it's such a tiny amount of kilowatts we're less than a quarter of a kilowatt so 250 watts is just to have the car running which includes the day running lights now i'm now going to put on my heated driver's seat on high heated steering wheel and the passenger side heated seat on high it doesn't even register. Now if I was to put the wipers on, just one sweep, you see what this little section does. It jumps up a tiny amount, perhaps what 100 watts? It's such a minuscule amount and it doesn't actually register to affect the range of the car. So with the older type of EV, the main draw is the PTC heater. Now this ENV doesn't have the heat pump but just the PTC heater. So it is pretty energy hungry to run the heating. But as regards everything in the background, it's fine running the radio. There's the wipers going on intermittent. The radio, the heated seats, heated steering wheel makes next to no difference on the amount of energy you're going to use uh, to operate those systems in the background. Of course, the other thing you can do from the inside of your warm home is preheat the ENV but just by pressing a button on the key fob, puts the indicators on and now the heater will start inside the van pulling the energy from the mains because it's still plugged in. So in the Kia e Nero it's got a heat pump and but it's the same sort of principles that apply. So in the main screen if we go to EV and go to energy information and then click that up the top you can actually see what is running in the background so I'm stationary of course so the electronics that's the day running lights the computer is pulling 
31, 33, around 30 watts. So a third of a kilowatt, next to nothing. I'm just gonna flick the windscreen wipers. I don't think it even registered. I'm gonna put the heated seats on for me on the driver's side. That's on full. Oh, so it might be 10 watts front passenger side. Another 10 watts heated steering wheel. Perhaps another five watts. So I've now got up to half a kilowatt by having the heated seats on. It's still really, really low compared to putting the heater on. So let's now put the heater on for the car. I'm gonna put the temperature up to what it was in the ENV, which was 23 and a half degrees C. And as you can see, as the heat pump starts to work, the amount of energy being drawn from the traction battery is slowly cranking up until we reach the desired temperature of 23 and a half degrees. So this having the heat pump means it's really super efficient. So we're just approaching one kilowatt of energy. Uh, the Nissan was pulling nearly three. So we'll just leave this running for a bit longer to see what we get up to. So we're approaching around about 1.9 kilowatts, so just under two kilowatts to start to feel the heat coming through the vents and into the car. So how does that affect the range? So at 53% with the heater on full, which is pulling, say, 1.9 kilowatts, if I turn the heater on, off. <laughs> so 135 at 53%, 135 miles range, I will put the heat on now. 132. So I basically lose three miles range, such as the efficiency of a car with a heat pump. So whilst we're in the warm, me and Monty, we can... <laughs> so whilst I'm in the warm, I can preheat my e-Nero by going to the app, press start climate control and send a signal to the car to preheat whilst it's still plugged in. So I hope that's been useful, helped to dispel some of the fears and misnomers about driving an EV. And yes, I have the radio on. I've not done the radio because I get copyright on YouTube. But the radio takes such a little amount of energy as do the headlights, the wipers. The biggest draw in any EV is the heater. And get an EV with a heat pump and that is mitigated. But having said that, heat pump isn't always essential in the UK climates because we don't get really that severe drop in temperatures like say they do in Scandinavia. So if you want to look at the difference in performance and energy consumption between the Nero with a heat pump and a Nero without the heat pump, then watch that video, you'll find that really useful. It compares the 4 Plus and an e Nero 2. And if you want to subscribe to my little channel, click that link there. Thanks for watching.